used to be a consultant and I would travel all over the West and I would always go to all these different communities and they all had the same problems, by the way. But when I would come back and land in Eugene, I'd go, ah, Eugene, because <laughs> it's just such a nice place to live. It's pretty, it's got great people, it's friendly. Yeah, I love living in Eugene. I've lived here for 37 years. The weather, you know, we've got two seasons. Sunshine for four months, rain for eight months. I can live with that. I don't have to shovel rain. 2023 was a big year for me, my first year on council. I was really excited that there was a lot of big items on the agenda for the year. We had opportunities to advance our climate action goals. We had renter protections that allowed us to help prevent people from being unhoused. This last year has really been a challenge at council and uh, we struggled with a lot of issues, but one of the things we made a lot of progress on was shifting our focus on climate change to uh, on actions that significantly reduce greenhouse gases, focus on the state and federal programs that are once in a lifetime, will bring millions of dollars potentially into our community and create jobs. So I think that's one of our big things that we've moved forward on. Well, this last year we made forward progress again in housing that we are creating policy that allowed to be produced. When I was running for office in 2020, we had a rental vacancy rate of about 2.5%, and then shortly after taking office, that dipped to 1.5%, which is uh, part of the reason the costs are so high. And this last year, we finally hit the mark of 4% in uh, rental vacancy rate, but consider that the national average is around 8%, so we still have a lot of work to do. First of all, I want to thank the voters for standing behind our parks levy renewal, making sure that our parks are clean, are well lit, uh, and, and safe for all Eugenians to use. This last year our brand new park, Stryker Field, opened. A really great space for people in North Eugene to be able to gather. I mean the whole project was done with a huge amount of community um, involvement which was a, uh, somewhat of a new process for the Parks Department, um, at, the, at least at this level of involvement that we did. Uh, but I think that even though it was really hard because everyone wants new different things, right? Um, it, it ended up with a really good components to the park, right? Like different things for different people so that everyone has something when they go there, you know, that they can enjoy. I think the thing that I'm most impressed with is our, our very passionate and dedicated uh, staff at the city. Anytime I have questions or challenges, they are right there helping me along, helping me learn um, the ropes and making sure that we are doing things and making decisions in an equitable way so that we can help all of our community feel like they belong. You know, our state of the city is usually we try to be very positive and up uplifting and this is a hard time to do that and then also acknowledge that there are real problems and issues that that need to be dealt with at the same time we have a great community and we have great people here who who make it what you know special so um, you can still celebrate those things even while acknowledging that everything's not perfect next year is going to be a challenge i think uh, from a budget perspective we're looking at an ongoing eight plus million dollar deficit and we're focusing in on how to how to deal with that within the budget committee and at the council we've got a, a revenue advisory committee looking at different revenue options hopefully we can come up with some some options there that make sense that can dig out uh, us out of that hole this council is a collegial council you know, we don't always agree uh, but we're not disagreeable and uh, there are times where we have stood united and unanimous, and that's um, realized in our council priorities, our legislative priorities for the next year. And one of those priorities uh, is to make an investment in a behavioral health stabilization center. I think the riverfront development is gonna start to take off. We've got our first building, one under construction, first building under, second building going. And uh, I think that that's gonna be exciting and see that fill out over the next year or two. I think the thing I'm most excited about working on, although there's a number of things we do need to work on, it's looking at economic development. Uh, one of the things we also accomplished this year was extending the urban renewal district in both the downtown and we're in the process of doing that for the riverfront. And while not everybody in our community agrees with that, I think that's incredibly important to have the infrastructure to support 
our economic center, which is downtown, and our riverfront, which again is, I believe, the crown jewel of this city. But you know who doesn't get thanked often enough? The folks within the municipal apparatus who do the work day in and day out, the specialists, the policy experts, um, folks who are on the front lines uh, as first uh, responders, uh, folks who are working, whether it's in our library or our planning department, public works, uh, folks throughout the municipality who keep our city running and keep us safe. I also want to say thank you to Mayor Venice. This is, as, as you know, Mayor Lucy Venice's last year of her second term. And entering that last year, um, it's very clear to me that the mayor has embraced progressivism with pragmatism. Politics is the art of the possible. The mayor personifies the best way that we have achieved win-win solutions. I want to say that I am thankful for all the help and all the support that I got during a very difficult time in my life, uh, health-wise. I want to thank the mayor for uh, calling uh, Eugene Springfield Fire when I was um, having a medical incident, and uh, they definitely came to the rescue. And uh, for all of the staff of the city of Eugene, that have supported me in my council role over the last 10 years. It has really been a blessing and a pleasure uh, to have that support. You couldn't have a better staff. Hats off to Mayor Venice and hats off to Sarah Maderi, who is the Serena Williams of city managers. One of the things I've come to realize in my first three years of office even when we disagree as a council, we do so respectfully. And what I have come to know is that the mayor and every single councilor on the city council cares deeply about this community. And we are passionate about the work that we do. It's just been such a pleasure to work with so many incredible people who have dedicated their lives to making this a better place to live.